following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... While we're busy preparing our families for summer break, there are some furry members of the family that need some attention as the warm summer months approach. Here with some advice on helping your pets prepare for summer, we have Dr. Courtney Wegard back from Vinton Veterinary Hospital. Welcome back. Thank you. And you brought a friend. This is Abby. She is a, a senior, senior friend. She's about 11 years old, I think. Uh -huh. um, she's available for adoption at Franklin County Humane. So if anybody's looking for a golden years, a dog to live out their golden years at their home, all lay around dog. Mm -hmm. She's absolutely precious. She is precious and she's good with other animals yep. and just, Dogs wants, and cats. just mm -hmm. wants a lap to just just wants snuggle love. in. Yep, and she just had a, uh, a spa day, so she's nice and groomed. This is the perfect <laughs> time to get her. Uh, she looks beautiful. So if anybody's interested in, and an older girl has a place in their heart or their home yeah. for a senior. Um, she is just about perfect. Just a laid back dog. I love her. All <laughs> right. So let's talk about some of the problems the pets have during the summer months. What should we be looking for? So as you know, the last couple of weeks, we've had some pretty bad thunderstorms. Mm -hmm. uh, summertime storms pop up. There are a lot of uh, animals that have really bad phobias to thunderstorms and lightning. And then, of course, 4th of July coming up with oh. the fireworks display. Yes. This can be a very problematic time for dogs with noise phobias. Mm -hmm. So we get a lot of phone calls at our clinic about what do I do? What do I look for? What, how can I help my dog? Yeah. They're tearing up the house. Oh, yeah. I bet. I remember my German Shepherd was terrified of thunderstorms. So what are some of the signs that our pet might be having a problem? A lot of them you can actually tell even 30 minutes to hours before the storm happens. They'll start pacing, they'll shake, they'll tremble, they'll drool. So um, they can feel that storm coming? They can tell it's coming. Wow. I don't know if it's a drop in the barometric pressure. They can feel, they can sense it. I mean, they're very intuitive creatures. But we used to have a little dog that would hide behind the toilet and we would we couldn't find him and then 30 minutes later we find him and there was a thunderstorm happening so they just know wow. but some of them can get pretty destructive they'll chew things they'll try to break out of their crates and that can be very traumatic and really harmful to them they'll break their teeth um, they'll hurt themselves trying to get out of the crate or get out of a room if they're um, wow. in a room uh -huh. um, and some animals will actually break out of the house and run away so we see a lot of you ask shelters fourth of july in the summertime is a lot of runaways uh, because these animals are scared to death and they, they don't know what to do, so they just, they just break run. out of the house. Right, mm -hmm. and I understand that some can actually have seizures, is that right? So some animals do um, have stress se stress seizures where um, it's just too much for them and they'll tremble and shake and it can induce a seizure. Wow. Okay, so what should we do if our dogs have that fear? So definitely talk to your veterinarian. Um, you know, there are some neat things uh, over the counter, some thunder shirts, the little garments and snugglies that they can wear, oh, which is yeah. supposed to give them the sense that they're being hugged and kind of break up the sensation along their fur. Mm -hmm. um, so some people have success with that. Really desensitizing your dog. So you know, if, if you can get a CD with noises or find a YouTube video with noises, try to do that in the months where it's not as storm uh, centric mm -hmm. and work on them then, positive reinforcement find oh. a safe place for the dog. Uh -huh. So some people too will put their dog in the basement or somewhere they can't hear the noise or see the lightning. Right. Um, so put them away in a safe, secure, secure place. And then, you know, kind of worst case scenario or we're here to help as veterinarians. We do have tranquilizers or sedatives that can even be used short term in a, in a okay. moment's notice um, that won't knock your dog completely out like some just of the old medications. down though. Just take the edge off. Um, so we've got some really great things in our in our arsenal at, at the veterinary yeah. office that just will take the edge off um, enough if you know it's coming. Okay, um, all right, so reach out to them at Vinton Vet. You can uh, go online or give them a call, VintonVet.com, or call 627-5118. And again, if you wanna reach out and find more information about Abby here, you can reach out to the Franklin County Humane oh, Society. Do. Oh, and no, she's she's not scared of thunderstorms or fireworks she's that perfect. we know of, so already ahead of the game. Exactly, thank you, Courtney. <laughs>